Hello and welcome to my rendition of Palisade. This game is just like Loopy. And so the only difference is that the exact opposite in that you have a loop to begin with along the outside. So you can mark all the ones that can't have those areas done. And the two in the corner that can't have anything. And the three. Uh, and another rule about this game is that you make loops with this game. And so with the three at the top, we're going to go ahead and mark that. And so there's no problem with having like five loops. You're supposed to have a total of five loops in the both spots. They're all supposed to have six squares. The region size is six. So there'll be six squares to the, to the area. All right. So we'll go ahead and look at the bottom. We have a two and a two and a one. The one is already done. It needs two more squares to be a six. If you combine those twos, will be the corners. The twos are always corners. Unless they're like hallways. There we go. There's that one. And if we make the two on the top left, uh, the bottom left corner, the two to the, the top left corner, bleh. If we take these away and make the two the top left corner, this makes another two by three rectangle area six. It's good to memorize the different kinds of shapes that you can make. There's the three by two, and then there's the pyramid. It's kind of one, two, three. That also makes six. So I'm gonna show you um, this one at the top. So we have, this is a, a pyramid right here. And so what this is saying on the top left is that you can't have a line that breaks into, um, into the area. It's like having a line right here. It's right in the middle. It doesn't make any sense. And so it doesn't like that. And so this is obviously not in the answer. So if we take this away, uh, let's see where this, where this one has to go is going to have to go like this. And so the two, it needs a corner. It's going to have to get this area down here. And so if we try to make a six with it, you can get all this area right here. There we go. And that's how you play Palisade. I'll go ahead and do one more because it is very technical. It's kind of difficult to understand. I didn't get it the first time I saw it. And so, so those ones, they have the one on the outside already. The three, there we go. That one's done. Now we see that if we combine these two right here, this is too much space. That's like eight squares already. We only need five in this region. So we're going to go ahead and mark this line so we know that you can't go like this you can't have a line in the region and so you know the line has to stay outside so we've got four in our region so we just add one more and it's done all right so we look at the at the bottom we have uh, a three we can't combine that with the one it's like you're in you're all in or nothing and so it's gonna have to be separated um, so the one is going to go up or it's going to go left. The two, we're going to go ahead and mark that area. There we go. All right, so we get to pick another five. The one at the bottom needs one more square and the two above has too much. And so we have to separate them. There we go. Separated. All right. This three at the bottom needs a line, but the two can't have a line next to it. So we're going to go ahead and put a line right here. And then this two is also complete right above it. And so that completes that area. And there's two more areas for the, for the five. All right. So let's see, where do we go from here? We're going to make this line right here and that's it. We got a five in the top and it didn't need any numbers. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Uh, I hope this helped clarify how to play Palisade as well as some strategies. It's just like loops. Feel free to subscribe to my other tutorials and feel free to watch them and improve your puzzling.